What's up fellow classers? It's Apollyon here and I know it's been forever since I've done a video but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get back into it again. I've got a brand new system, a new computer, new microphone, a uh, new capture card so that the, the quality should be a lot better. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and leave a like and uh, let me know in the comments if it makes any difference. I'm going to do a recap just to get started with CWL, last CWL war. Um, we're struggling this season and a lot of times it's, uh, of course we win and lose as a team but a lot of times it's just very very close this time we just did a, a dip a fail dip from a 12 to 11 which would have actually made the difference because as you can see uh, we have the percentage here um, and if we would have just got that extra start we would have tied with and by winning uh, with the percentage so let's go ahead and and jump right into some 10 v 10s 11 v 11s and a 12 v 12 and focus on some of the top tier attacks that we have uh, a meta attacks in each one of these town halls so we'll get started with town hall 10 v 10 and uh, do a, a couple I think we've got about four of them and we'll start with a, a a pretty cool one which was a queen walk and rest dragon so not not the drag bat that everybody else is doing but the base design of this you can see that all the ad's are reachable without having to break in do anything special they're all right on the outside with a queen walk not even needing to charge so I mean, very, very uh, cool identification of this base to see that that's where it was lacking. So we're just going to send the queen in uh, to take out all four of these ADs, starting at the, the four o'clock one and just working their way clockwise all around the base. And then we'll shave off a couple of the base up top and then just start the dragons in from the uh, 12 to 3 side. So as you can see, the queen right here is getting um, the, the first two ADs, and I think believe she'll even get the CC and the enemy queen. So raging it up, taking care of all that stuff under poison. Uh, don't think she has to pop the ability, and I believe that she the healers will also be out of that um, Inferno Tower range too. Uh, so that's really good, just really good identification again of this base. And again, we're just shaving off some of those uh, defenses and buildings. Got the king coming down at um, at noon, and then we drop the dragons, loons, and slammer at uh, twelve to three, and raging up a couple of those dragons. I don't believe we lose a dragon in this. I think we started with five, and I think we end up with five. Spoiler, but. Is the queen is is still doing her thing as you can see she's walking down still has not used the ability he's going to take out that last ad and just drop in rages for these loons and dragons to get keep going through the base there's no single inferno tower so they don't have to worry about that at all all they have to do is continue just tr trucking along there's the last rage to push through this core and the queen uh, is still taking out all the trash buildings and defenses on the outside and then we've got the, the dragons just coming in to take out that last inferno tower which would have taken out the healers but it's no big deal at this point we'll speed it up to speed and just watch as the cleanup like i said i think we got all of the dragons still alive if i'm not mistaken but a really great base identification and great strategy for this so very good start to our video now we're going to go to number 32 and uh we're going to see an oldie but a goodie a falcon attack which is basically using healers and uh mass valks to get into the base and uh, this time we have a slammer to help us with that too. So I believe we're starting the queen up at six o'clock, dropping that loon uh, just to make sure that there's no uh, seeking air mines for those healers. It's always what you want to do. Uh, probably wouldn't have saved that baby dragon if there was a seeking air mine there, but that's that's okay. You'll see it used for healers and for baby dragons in front just to test the waters and make sure there's not any traps. Then we're going to send the king in there and to take out the trash buildings and some of the defenses there at nine o'clock. And we're making that funnel for those Valks to come in right around that eight o'clock area and just push through the base. We have no jumps. We just have rages, heals, and uh, some, and I think a haste for the slammer, which I believe has loons in it. So there we go with our bowlers, uh, Valkyrie, King, and Queen. Unfortunately, the healers stick along with the Queen. It's usually better when the healers go in with the um, the rest of the core, but that's fine. We've got the um, Poison coming in for the uh, enemy clan castle, and the Queen finally makes her way in. We've just got a whole bunch of uh, of our troops coming into the core and taking out. I think those um, the healers do a switch there, and they're going to heal up the bowler. That's just fantastic. And then we drop the slammer to take care of some of those outlying defenses, and slammers do such a great job with that. 
especially since it's not a single inferno tower it's a multi we're able to go ahead and take care of all those defenses on the out the queen is still alive with ability intact and we've got to clean up some of those trash buildings there we go with the goblins down there they'll take care of that and then we've still got a uh, not a full health slammer we've still got a slammer full and uh, we haven't even begun to drop any of their the troops there in fact i don't think we'd have to if i'm not mistaken there i think he used the ability or he used it popped it just to make sure we can get those loons in and of course the haste uh they're all all the rest of the defenses are ground targeting so they're not even going to touch the loons so we'll fast forward this again queen uh, used the ability and still has got a bunch of healers behind so really great attack there with the old school falcon now we'll go to 22 and we'll see what everybody's using and that is the drag bat attack um, i like mine with uh, more loons and less uh, uh, like dropping the the lot of the lava hound and using uh, 10 or six seven to, to 10 loons but that's fine it's all about the, the, the base style and if you're going to be able to get all those traps uh, and uh, tank a little bit for an air defense uh, lava hound can be definitely worth it at that uh, too so we've got the queen uh, basically going in without a healer but does uh, taking out uh, all those defenses and doing some funneling for the dragons and then we've got the king and i think we've got a bowler behind it and then we've got dragons now coming in uh, at the seven o'clock uh, area so everything's coming in right into the base. Then we drop a, a slammer almost behind the, the bat. So it'll, it'll kind of go up and trail behind, as well as that lava hound that is going to tank for the queen, the enemy queen, or tank the enemy queen and the air defenses. Let those dragons make their way in. We still have another rage, but we've got a bunch of um, bat spells, freezes, and a rage. And we're going to probably end up, uh, yeah, there we go. We have a single Inferno Tower, which it is it's screaming to be bat. So there we go. We're, we're taking out that uh, first Wizard Tower, second Wizard Tower, and then we can. We didn't even need to freeze that. We, we could have actually frozen the bottom Wizard Tower, but that's okay because the, the, the big dragon is, tank, is uh, tanking for that. So really, that's where you're going to get your bats um, spell the most value out of that and we've just got tons of dragons left all the way up top going use that last freeze just to help those loons get into that defense uh, while the dragon is tanking and unfortunately the last uh, um, balloon was taken out uh, as the dragon was not tanking those uh, teslas so we'll speed things up as we have a bunch of dragons coming in yes the one dragon in the bottom is doing bad but we have five dragons that are coming up from the noon area and making their way down towards the base let's speed it up four times and we'll go ahead and check out that and we've got the three star hit so very nice and then uh last but not least we'll do another air attack and we'll do a la loon on number 21 and we're just going to use a, a a sui kill squad with our king and queen no healers nothing else i think we have a bowler behind um i'm not sure what's in the clan castle but i believe it's probably all air targeting that's probably why we picked this strategy there we go with some loons and the blimp and we're going to use a clone too and i'm not sure if he wanted to clone the baby well he can't clone the the dragon because the the clone's not uh heavy enough but there we go so we've got the e dragon coming in taking out that queen taking out the um the wizard tower and now taking out the uh uh almost taking out the tesla being able to do some damage so we've got a good portion of that three o'clock area already funneled out and then we've dropped the bowler for the bowler bounce to take care of that mortar and then we've got uh, some funneling work to go with the king and queen dropped at around 11 o'clock and uh, we're going to really hold that king ability till uh, almost uh, he's down to no health but uh, king is tanking for the queen while she's doing damage and then we're going to go ahead and pop that ability right now baby dragon has dropped to do some more uh, funneling and uh, just clearing out some of the trash buildings and then we've got uh, a loon right there i believe to test out some of the uh, sams and then we've got a, bu a bunch of the loons just to be dropped in for pathing and to trigger those teslas so we've got some lava hounds going down we've got haste uh, we've got a heal uh, rage and a whole bunch of haste and another poison um, that are, are still available so we're dropping our last lava hound and uh, pushing these loons into the core with that haste still holding on to that rage um the lava hounds are tanking for the ad's 
and uh, there we go with the rage to push through that core and then I uh, and we're also healing in through those whiz towers and everything else uh, for splash damage so we still have a bunch of loons coming in what's really nice about this is the patience holding on unfortunately we do pop that uh, lava hound we didn't want to pull it but we did actually pull it and the queen took almost took care of it um, but uh, that's a little bit problematic, but we've got a hero baby dragon, and we've held on to that last haste for these little bit of loons just to wait until the right moment to push them through to that archer tower and the Tesla. Really nice holding. There we go. Nice drop. They're going to go right on top of that archer tower and then push all the way to that Tesla and make it there just in time. So really nice uh, way to hold on to that, and we'll speed it up as we're just doing cleanup work here to this base. And really nice. So that's uh, our Town Hall 10 attacks. We'll look at some of the uh, 11 v 11. And here's one you don't see all the time. It is Mass Hog. Uh, but again, a really nice base identification. Notice where you can pull the CC and get access to the Queen just with one slammer. And I think, I don't even know if there's anything behind the slammer. I'm not sure, I don't believe there is. But we're gonna use a Rage and uh, let that slammer get in there and pull the CC and uh, under rage, I believe there is Valkyries if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, it could be a P.E.K.K.A. whatever it is, we're just busting our way through the, that zone. So as soon as they're dropped under rage, uh, they're gonna go there. We go there, Valks, and they're gonna just take out that queen and do a lot of funneling on the base, take out some of those defenses, and uh, then we've got a poison. We're using double poison here uh, to uh, make sure that that CC goes down. And I believe we're using. I'm not sure we're gonna use to kill that. See, okay, we're gonna use another baby dragon. So we've we've taken care of good portion of the funneling the CC and the enemy queen. So at this point, we can just do some uh, uh, shaving off of, of the buildings with the king and queen, using the king to be king and using the queen to take care of some of those defenses as well as the funneling for the pathing for the hogs. But we have so many hogs to push through this base with four heels. So just, you know, nothing to stop them except for spring traps and giant bombs. But uh, those four heels will be able to cover most of the base. There we go, starting to trickle in some of those hogs, and we're gonna go in from six o'clock to uh, around three o'clock and just uh, send a whole bunch of them in, push them through the core. We have not, uh, we, there we go, dropping our first heel and then waiting to see where the hogs come in. I believe we're gonna start sending them in at two o'clock in just a second. Or we're just gonna we're just gonna hold them. There we go. Starting started with a giant to tank, and then we've got some hogs coming in at uh, one uh, two o'clock and noon. Push through that Tesla farm and heal over that Inferno Tower, a multi Inferno Tower. Uh, we still have two heals left and a good portion of this base gone. They do hit a giant bomb, but the hogs are so tanky now that um, they're able to go ahead and make their way still into that heal without uh, dying at all. And we still have another heal. So we're gonna be patient on this. As long as we don't lose too many um, on spring traps, then we'll be okay. We're he making that heal right in the middle so that the whiz tower is, um, is still affected. They're still being uh, healed while they're getting hit by the whiz tower. And it's just caught that uh, giant bomb as well. So the only thing that we had to worry about was the skelly traps, but he saved the poison for the skellies. And then all it is, is just for cleanup. So really nice job. Very, very cool. And now we'll go to uh, what a lot of people are using on 11v11. I think I'll do a separate video on this. And that's a bow, bow P or a, a bowler P.E.K.K.A. Um, using the healers, it's kind of like a falcon attack. But since there's so many multi-infernos out there, uh, P.E.K.K.A. is just, they shrug off multi-infernos like it's nothing, like it's a tickle. So they do so much damage and they're not phased by that. So you're able to take the, that massive um, core push and just go right through the base with healers behind it. There we go with the queen starting to shave off some of the defenses and those, um, those trash buildings with a wall wrecker right in front of her to get through the base. Just like in the Falcon attack, you wanna make sure you get all that funneling done so everything goes into the core. There we go with our, our bowlers, our P.E.K.K.A., our queen, our king, everything's going in there. Not using any um, jumps or anything like that, just rages, uh, freezes, and then we have uh, bats for the back end of the base. And that's just extremely common. So 
just raging everything up in there using the warden ability to get uh, through that core as we put pull the cc we've got to drop the poison in just a second just holding that poison though back for a little bit um, there we go we finally dropped it in there and then uh, just getting everything to go through that base um, the bowler bounce just taking out a bunch of the buildings and defenses we still have a queen and a king with ability and they're ba basically full health and then we've got our bats going in with almost no splash damage whatsoever so they're just going and just annihilating every defense that that comes up just the uh, tesla farms no big deal at nine o'clock those bats just shred them to pieces and just making our way through here the only thing we did have to worry about was that multi inferno and then the whiz tower right there that's frozen and then we still have another freeze if we needed it for this last wizard tower right here there we go just make sure you get your timing right on those type of things because wizard towers will take out an entire swarm of bats 10 15 20 at a time uh, with one of their splashes it's a really bat killer but everything else these these uh single target things they don't do anything to bats at all so there we go with our bats still coming through we still have a bunch of them and they're going to take out this last um archer tower and then it's just lights out game over we still have a king a uh, full health king with ability really really nice attack really powerful attack as well i don't know if you guys have used that yet All right, one more 11 v 11 at 12. And it's going to be an E-Drag attack. And I don't really see mass E-Dragons or multi E-Dragon attacks that often for 11 v 11. They're great for 12 v 12 and dips from a, a 12 v 11s, but uh, it's really cool to see them at a, a 11 v 11. So we've got our Slammer coming in here, and this is where the clone comes in. And I'm not sure if he wanted to, to clone the E-Dragon or these loons, but he ends up cleaning, uh, cloning the loons. The e dragon's going to go ahead and take care of a lot of these defenses, and those clone loons are going to get the entire 3 o'clock compartment of defenses. And the E-Dragon is, I believe, going to get one last uh, electronic breath out. And then all we have to do is make sure we take care of this CC, uh, the dragon that's there at uh, coming down at 6 o'clock. And then we'll do some funneling with our king and queen there at the town hall at six. And we're going to send our E-Dragons in at four o'clock to straight up that core, uh, take out the enemy queen and just go ahead and take out the rest of the base. But we're going to get a lot of value on this kind of queen walk. Uh, fortunately, that baby dragon does hit a, a, a salmon. I say fortunately because it's better that the baby dragon does than the E-Dragons do. There we go with our E-Dragon drop with loons. We've got uh, three rages and a heal to push through the, this base. So we did uh, uh, target, not target, we did uh, activate the eagle artillery. But that's not a big deal because those loons will get there and the dragons will get there soon enough. Using the warden ability right there to push through the enemy queen and to uh, kind of block that eagle artillery. There we go with a heal as we're pushing through uh, to, into the core. And uh, we've just got to go and take care of re the rest of this base. Um, spoiler alert, the queen does not make it, but she is doing some great job uh, with her funneling. I think she's going to get taken out by that uh, cannon or archer tower at uh, nine o'clock probably the cannon uh before the e dragons get to it but we still have some e dragons clearing out those uh the rest of those air targeting defenses there we go the queen goes down but at this point that wizard tower is the only air defense that's standing in the way uh from a three star of this base and predict maybe any kind of air traps but the baby dragon is dropped for uh, just to make it clean up a little bit quicker and uh takes that last defense out and we've got a three very nice hit and then finally, we're going to go check out a 12v12. And uh, I think it was our only 12v12, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it was a, a, a mass hog. I mean, go figure on a 12v12. A really good, again, base identification. I know I've said that, but that really makes a huge difference when you guys are planning attacks is identifying where, the, what, how much value you can get with your troops on certain areas. And this particular one is to get the town hall taken care of. So we've got uh, the town hall that's going to be uh, removed with this uh, wall wrecker coming in. I think, yeah, wall wrecker coming in at uh, 11 o'clock. And just, uh, I think we just have a P.E.K.K.A. in there. And I forget what else, maybe an, um, uh, an ice golem to, to freeze up the town hall. But we don't really care if the P.E.K.K.A. dies after it get, takes out the town hall. But the town hall does not do enough damage to a P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. just, she's so strong. 
uh, coming in here and, and, and not also not really worrying about any baby dragons or if it's a lava hound in there, it's going to do nothing to that uh, uh, P.E.K.K.A. as well. So uh, we've got it coming in towards the Town Hall. King is funneling down on the bottom. And finally hitting that, there we go, with a poison just to take out those archers that are in there. But the Lava Hound is going to do absolutely nothing to that uh, P.E.K.K.A. And we don't, I don't even think we used the Rage. We've got five heals for our our, uh, um, our hogs. And then finally the P.E.K.K.A. takes out that Town Hall. And now we just can send our wall of hogs right there. And uh, to take a queen, what does he use? Skelly Traps. Very nice. I don't, look at that, how much... Um, uh, em not empty space, but how big that core or that that uh, compartment is where the queen is pretty much dropping that uh, um, Skelly trap in, in any of those places is gonna get her and uh, We you actually chose to turn in that little corridor, which is probably even better for it. Although that uh, Is that a multi? No, that's a single so even better for the Skelly trap multi infernos would shred those Skelly traps But a, a single does absolutely nothing to it. So again, really nice identification So we've got just a bunch of hogs coming in here you know, getting tickled by that lava hound and uh, Just wrecking the base. Are we swagging that last heal or do we need it? Do we even need it? I believe we could swag it if we wanted to um, But uh, probably we'll use it towards that uh, wizard tower so just getting our way towards those last couple of defenses and probably just gonna heal yeah just just because of, of a giant bomb or something like that which there we go i still think they'd be able to push their way through but uh, really just absolutely demolished this base like it was like a piece of cake so hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, let me know in the comments what kind of videos that you want to see uh, either more 10 v 10s 11 v 11 12 v 12 specific strategies that uh, maybe you're struggling with or you want to get a little bit of insight of, of how to use them or what to identify to use uh, uh, those attacks against what types of bases and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, you know go ahead and continue to practice these attacks that's the best thing when you're using that base identification then you got to practice get used to the timing get used to the spells uh, get those six-star clan wars and continue to practice those three-star attacks.